Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. You give the cashier $10 and get back 37 cents in change. Now, if sales tax was 7%, how much was the cost of the product or products? All right, so that's the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time before I show you the answer, we go to the store, we're going to buy a product or products. And uh, when we go to the cashier, we give them $10 and we get back 37 cents and change. Now, of course, we had sales taxes, 7%. How much was the cost of the product or products? All right, so that's the question. Let's go and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is $9. Okay, so $9 is what we um, what was the cost of the product or two products for, uh, you know, let's say $5 and uh, $4. But we'll just consider uh, we just had one product and it was $9. Now, when we tacked on our 7% uh, on this $9, the total amount is going to be equal to giving the cashier $10 and receiving back 37 cents and change. So, of course, I'm going to walk you through the full solution, but $9 is the correct answer. Now, if you got this right, we must celebrate by giving you a nice, slow, happy face in A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that, indeed, you are a certified professional expert in solving basic math word problems that involve uh, money. Now, if people aren't impressed by your ability to handle money, well, I don't know what will impress them. But uh, anyways, this was an excellent little prompt for you to solve. Now, if you are a bit confused, well, uh, you know, I'm going to clear this up in just one second. But I am going to be using algebra to solve this problem. Now, I didn't want to state that initially because I just don't like to scare people off because you should always attempt to solve a problem. So if you were kind of you know, uh, doing something, but you didn't get the right answer, I still congratulate you on your efforts. That is the way you learn anything you have to try. But let's go ahead and get into the actual solution. So here is the problem. And of course, we're dealing with a math word problem. So always use the rule of three. Now, the rule of three is read the problem at least three times before you do anything, because it takes more than just once to really absorb all the information. But of course, we go to the store, we buy a product or products, and uh, we, um, when we go to pay, we have $10, right? So we're going to give the cashier $10, and they're going to give us back $0.37 cents and change. Okay, now, of course, uh, this total cost includes the sales tax of 7%. So the question is, how much was the product? So anytime you're dealing with a uh, math word problem or something uh, complicated, you always, always want to try to model the problem. Okay, you want to try to visualize it because once you visualize it or you can visualize it, then it's far easier to see the solution. So let me go ahead and show you what I did. Now your model doesn't have to be like this, but you know, you should have uh, some sort of conceptual model that's kind of like this, right? All right, so here we have a product. We don't know how much it costs, but we know we have to pay 7% uh, uh, tax on it, okay? So uh, so here is the cost of our product, whatever that is. Now the tax, the sales tax is gonna be 7% of whatever the cost of the products is, but this will be our tax. So our total cost is gonna be the cost of the product plus uh, the respective sales tax. So that is our total. Now, what is our total? Well, if you gave the cash here $10, and we got back 37 cents and change, the difference here is the total cost. So this is just the basic kind of representation of the problem, but let's go ahead and take this a step further so we can um, actually solve uh, this problem. Now, here, okay, is a good clue that you want to be thinking about algebra. Now, if you don't know algebra, you know, this may not uh, make a lot of sense, but hopefully inspires you to learn uh, some algebra. But anytime we have an unknown value, so here, 
how much was the product? This is an unknown value, or we don't know how much the product was, okay? And uh, oftentimes when you see a prom that says how much was this or how much was that or, you know, anything along those lines, you can always think in the terms of a variable, okay, to represent that amount. And a variable, of course, we could use like a variable X, Y, doesn't make a difference. But of course, if we're using a variable, we need to be thinking about algebra. So I'm gonna use the variable X. So I'm gonna let X equal uh, the actual cost of the product, okay? And I'm just gonna uh, assume we had one product here. It doesn't make a difference if we had multiple uh, products that added up to $9. We'll just keep it nice and simple. Let's suppose we just had one product. Let's let X equal the cost of that product. So if that's the case, we can actually see what's going on here much easier. So here's the cost of the product, it's X. Now, we have to calculate tax for this transaction, which is gonna be 7% of the cost of the product. So if you don't know how tax works, uh, you have a sales tax, for example, yet yeah, um, you're gonna be taking a percentage of the cost of the products that will, uh, of the cost of the product or products, that will be your tax. So uh, in this particular case, it's 7%. So we're gonna take 7% of the cost of the product. Now, of course, that's now X, and that's gonna be equal to the difference of our change, we got back 37 cents, but we gave the cashier uh, $10. So how much uh, you know, did this actual transaction cost? Well, $9.63, because 10 minus 37 cents, $10 minus 37 cents is $9.63. So the cashier said, hey, can you give me $9.63? I say, sure, no problem. Here's $10, and they're gonna give me back uh, 37 cents and change. All right, now, uh, once we kind of, you know, uh, kind of cleared up uh, any confusion here, hopefully now we understand what kind of occurred, what we need to do is build an equation because we have this variable X, right, which represents the cost of this product. Well, this isn't going to help us out unless we can build an equation to solve for this variable. And we certainly can because we kind of already have this model of an equation, right? The product plus the tax is equal to $9.63. So let's use some algebra here to actually build this equation. So X is the cost of the product. Now the sales tax, the way we calculate percentage, right, is gonna be 7% of the cost of the product. So when you wanna find the percent of a number, we're gonna to have to change that percent to a decimal. Okay, so 7% is the same thing as the decimal 0 0.07. Now how do we uh, calculate or how do we figure that out? Well, pretty easy. All we need to do to um, go from a percent, actually, I'm going to do this right here. Just a quick review for those of you that need a quick review on how to change percent to a decimal. So here we have 7.0%. So uh, if we want to change that percent to a decimal, what we can do is move the decimal point over two places to the left. So that's equal to 0 0.07 as a decimal but it's the same thing as dividing by 100. So technically, you're dividing uh, the percent by 100, but it, effectively what you're doing is moving the um, decimal point over two places to the left. So that's what we need to do. We need to uh, change this percent to a decimal. So now we have 0 0.07 times the cost of the product, which of course is X. So this is our total amount, okay, for this transaction, and we know it's equal to $9.63. So what we have here is a basic linear equation, x plus 0.07x is equal to 963. And the next step here is to solve this equation for x. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, I need you to do this, and that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your support. Now, uh, I wouldn't stop this lovely math video if it wasn't that important. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I love being on YouTube. I've actually been on YouTube for over 10 years. I have well over 2,000 videos from basic math to advanced math, not calculus and everything in between. No, I wouldn't have uh, put that amount of effort for that amount of time if you know, I didn't feel what I was doing was making a positive impact, but I can only continue to grow uh, on YouTube, and I kind of think of it as my gigantic uh, classroom. If I don't get individual support, you know, um, for and you know, if I don't ask, you know, I won't receive. So that's why I'm stopping this. It's very, very important uh, to get your support. And the easiest way to uh, show that is just to subscribe to my channel. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. So let's get back to this problem now. 
So what we have here is this basic linear equation. So x plus 0.07x is equal to 963. Again, x is the cost of the product. 0.07x is the sales tax for that respective uh, product at that price. But the total amount with, all, uh, with everything all in, the product plus the tax is 963. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. So x plus 0.07x, there is a 1 in front of that x. These are like terms. So it's going to be 1 plus 0.07. So that's 1.07x is equal to 963. And to solve for x, all we have to do is divide the, uh, both sides of the equation by 1.07. So 963 divided by uh, 1.07 is 9. So that means our lovely product here, whatever it is, is $9. But let's suppose we were like, well, I'm not sure about that. We can certainly check this, and let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so if our product was $9, okay, that's the cost of our product. Now let's calculate the tax on it. So that would be 7% of $9. So 7% of 9 is going to be 0.07 times uh, 9. Now, of course, if you have a calculator, you just got to follow along. But 0 0.07 times 9 is 63 cents, or 0 0.63. So we have 9 plus 0.63 is 9.63, which is $9.63. And of course, that is the difference between giving the cashier $10 and getting back 37 cents and change. So effectively, we could just kind of think of it this way, right? We went up to the cashier uh, stand, and uh, the cashier saying, that would be $9.63. No problem. I'm going to give you $10, and you're going to get back $0.37 cents and change. Okay, so this is just a, a simple example of how to use some basic algebra to solve some interesting problems that involve money. But algebra is so diverse, you can solve a wide variety, an infinite uh, amount of uh, word problems using algebra. Now, if some of you out there are actually taking algebra, uh, let me give you a couple of uh, suggestions if you, you know, want to improve in word problems or just in, in, in general mathematics. So if you are taking algebra um, or algebra one, um, I'm going to have links to all my main courses to include uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, all those courses. You'll find the description of those or find the links in the description. Um, Excuse me, we'll find the links in the description. That's what I meant to say. But some of you out there might be saying, you know what, uh, I, I really kind of forgot all this math. I was really good at math way back in the good old days. That is awesome. So you must check out my new course. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Uh, a lot of people are taking advantage of this, so I'm really happy I built it. And this course really gets you in touch with all that math that you forgot, or maybe you never learned uh, many years ago. So I start off with basic math, arithmetic, and then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, uh, even some basic trigonometry and some probability and statistics as well. It's a self-paced course, but it's different than my YouTube videos. It's complete full instruction. Uh, and, uh, you know, of course, I am the teacher. But by doing this course, okay, you'll probably end up learning more than you actually learned in school. So if you want to check that out, you'll find the link to uh, it in the description as well. But hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.